super whining so he had been up for three so I put him down and it's working what I'm doing I uh, I nurse him for a little bit but I don't nurse him to sleep anymore because before if I did that I was like 20-30 minutes and he doesn't need to nurse that long um, so I nurse him for like 10 or 15 minutes and if he's not asleep then I put him in his crib and give him his water sippy cup and then yesterday actually when we got home from the park he was wasted it had been like four hours he'd been awake he had a blast at the park and used tons of energy so he was so tired so I and it was kind of running late so it was like keep him up or put him down and so I just thought he'd be a hot mess if I didn't at least try so all I did was lay him down say goodnight give him his bunny his blankie and his sippy cup of water that boy was passed out we had to wake him up like I think an hour and a, almost an hour and a half later we had to wake him up um, so that's working good and then Sydney, if she's tired enough, she falls asleep without nursing. Um, both of them slept through the night last night. Yay, Sydney was kind of starting back at, like, waking up one time a night and having me nurse. So last night she slept through the night. He slept through the night. They were tired. And uh, I just hurried up and cleaned up around here really quick because as soon as they wake up, I already have them dressed, um, but as soon as they wake up, I have got to change their diapers, and then we are out the door. We actually have a play date today um, at noon at a park, like, uh, t I think it's like 10 or 15 minutes away, not very far. So, um, it's a tight schedule, though, because they're napping now, then hopefully they wake up by, like, a quarter to 12 or, like, yeah, 11.30, 11.45. Hopefully they wake up so I can quick change them, get them in the car, go meet her, and then I don't know how long we'll hang out for. I guess it depends on how well we hit it off, but I have to be back home no later than 2.30, which means leave somewhere around 2, 2.15, because I have that six-year-old being dropped off today um, for a couple hours, so from 3 to 5, but I want the babies to be down for a nap before she comes, ideally because they would be really pooped from playing at the park for that long. So, um, we'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, it should be fun actually having a play date today. So, that's nice. Um, and then I've been trying really hard on this Smile Mom app. That's, like, for moms and you find moms in your area. And, again, people are flaky. They say they want to meet and then they cancel or you meet them once and then you never meet again, whatever. Which, obviously, you can't, like, get along with everybody. But, um, yeah, I've been, like, talking to moms and, like, respond to questions and stuff on there. And uh, so that's how I met this mom. And her son, I think, is, like, six or seven months old. So a little younger than the babies, but that's fine. And so we're going to meet up at the park. And then tomorrow, uh, mom might be coming over for a play date that's still up in the air because she hasn't got back to me on time. But she's going to come to my house. She has a three-year-old and is pregnant with her second. And then on Friday, a mom that I was supposed to meet a while back um, is actually coming to my house for a play date, and her son is the baby's same age. So that'll be fun because the babies are going to have a blast um, with having a little kid their age. Although they like kids no matter if they're older or younger, it doesn't matter. The babies just have fun. So it'll just be good for socialization. So we'll see if it all pans out. At this point, I'm just so used to it. Jeff's like, oh, wow, you're busy. And I'm like, not really. Until it actually happens, like, I take it with a grain of salt because a lot of people flake out or bail or things happen, and that is what it is. So as of right now, yes, I've got plans. If they follow through, cool. Um, and I'm definitely trying to make it work out here and, you know, for now and um, meet some people and, you know, make a friend or two would just be nice. Like, I don't need a plethora. Just a friend or two. Um, so, yeah, that's all that's going on. So I'm going to hurry up and edit the vlog. And I got a pack of diaper bag and a picnic lunch for us. And, yeah, it's beautiful. And after yesterday's um, 
fun at the park. We were there for like an hour. I'm excited to go to this park, see what's new there, because the babies just love it. And it's exactly what I thought. Once Sydney was walking, we would be able to do so much more and be at places so much longer because now she has the freedom and ability to walk and have fun and play because I always felt like even though they were twins in the same age, like she was my baby on my hip and then I had a toddler on the ground. And so um, I just felt, you know, like she got gypped. So I'm super happy she's walking now and it's super fun to go out places. I wonder if I should bring their car to play with. I don't know. Anyways, I'm taking the days as we can, these sunny days, and not wasting them inside. I want to try to go do as much as we can while we still have them. It's beautiful. So nice. And it's actually perfect because, like, in the morning it's a little chilly but not bad. So by afternoon it's, like, perfect. It's no sweater weather, and but it's not hot. Like, I don't have to worry about the babies overheating or getting sunburnt or anything, you know? Um... Whereas that one day we went to the park and it was like almost 90 and after like 10 minutes their faces were bright red. So we are just trying to make the most of this pretty fall. I hear that fall is like the best here just because it's um, not too hot but not too cold and not really raining. So it should be fun. I think this weekend we are going to hit six flags now that we kind of know the layout and what we want to do. And it's only going to be in the 70s so that's perfect again not too hot and now that Sydney's walking she's gonna have a blast in the play park or the water park not that she didn't last time trust me you saw but I was running so two things different she's walking so I don't have to worry about her like drowning so much and two Jeff is gonna be with me instead of on roller coasters he can go on roller coasters when we're sitting at a show for Looney Tunes or even just walking around but I, I won't do the water park again <laughs> there's just, it's just too big and too risky to change um, the baby's going under so um, and it'll be more enjoyable instead of me like chasing both of them so um, and I think we're gonna do that first I'm not sure we have to time it out but we for sure want to do that for sure want to do the shows the Looney Tunes shows with the babies because we think we'll have a blast and then Jeff go on a few roller coasters and then yeah and that's the day unfortunately it's like two two and a half hours to get there but we are leaving like right when the babies get up so i'm gonna pack the night before and then we're heading out so i'm looking forward to that that should be fun this weekend so as i ramble on i'm gonna stop so i can actually do what i need to do before they wake up so see you later we had fun at the play date had a good time she was super nice we're gonna get together again hopefully and uh, these little guys were crazy running around everywhere. She has a seven month old, so he just was sitting on the blanket. But these guys were starving and I brought snacks and it wasn't doing it. So we got some pizza that these guys are digging and probably gonna have a huge mess. But now we're at Target and gonna run in here while these guys eat some lunch and then head home because daddy will be home soon. Yeah. It changes so quick though. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, you're grabbing the stuff. No, no, no. Look at this guy right here, sissy. Hey, hi, doggy. This is the way you like it, sissy. They can't lick you. Hey, hi, doggy. No, 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 no. Say hi, baby.